I stream on Twitch with an Elgato 4K Pro capture card. And whenever I would alt tab out of any games, it would make the whole screen go blank and the little Elgato symbol would pop up for a minute. And so I was looking into it to fix it and I found a fix for me. I'll tell you guys what I did and maybe it'll work for you. Uh, so I ended up tracking down a resolution issue. I mean, of course, um, over the past couple of days, I've been I've been assuming it was a resolution issue, you know, like a mismatch. And so you'll have to look into your settings to figure it out on your own. But for me, on my Camlink Pro, you can see video input here was set to 2160p by 30. And that's not a setting that I can change. Uh, that's just what's going into the capture card itself. And I'm using a 1080p um, source. So, yeah, 26, 2160p by 30, and I'm using a 1080. So whenever I'd alt-tab, the computer would have to reprocess that. And that's why it was going blank. Uh, that's why it was showing the Elgato capture screen for a moment when I would alt tab out of a game uh, so I ended up tracking that down and let me just show you what was going on in the settings you can see advanced display settings desktop resolution 1920 by 1080 active signal resolution 1920 by 1080 that's the key there okay and I can show you what mine was showing it had active signal resolution was 3840 by 2160 I was like, what the heck? And so obviously when it was in the game, it was 1080p. Um, and it was it was kind of trying to jump back and forth between 2160. So that's why it was there was a, a resolution issue. And I'll show you how I fixed it. Apparently, when I plug in this third monitor, which is kind of a crappy monitor, it was automatically changing my Cam Link Pro display down to 30 hertz. And when I, if I click 30 hertz here, I'm not going to do it, but it makes the active signal resolution go up, go haywire. So you just need to make sure uh, you can play around with the refresh rates here. When my Camlink Pro is set to 120 hertz, it shows 1080p. If it's set to 30 hertz, it goes to that weird resolution where it's the 3840 by 2160. So you just need to make sure, especially if you have multiple monitors, that all your resolutions are matching up correctly. And this is a setting in Elgato that you can't actually change because it is controlled behind the scenes in your advanced display settings. So that's what worked for me. Also, one other thing, go into your NVIDIA control panel. And if you have any custom resolutions like I have, 1728 by 1080, make sure you have enable resolutions not exposed by the display and also have this check mark here on the custom resolution so that it, it knows ahead of time you're going to be using that. And that'll also help prevent any issues uh, when you're alt tabbing out of a game, so that's what worked for me. Hope that works. You're uh, you're welcome to comment in the in the uh, below there on the YouTube, and I'll try to respond to it.